My name is Vijaya Choksi, and this book, Arusa and the Three of Wishes, written by my granddaughter, Rosani Choksi. It's true, I wrote it. Look how good it matches your sari. Yeah, that's why I wear this sari, yeah. to match Look this you. book cover. Bah. <laughs> so in Arusha and the Tree of Wishes, the Kalpavruksh, which is the wish-fulfilling tree, takes a huge role. Do you know what it's supposed to look like? They have some in the, in the North India. Really? We still have it. <laughs> what? Does it grant everybody's wishes? Yeah, well, you have to go there. We'll test this out. Aru and her sisters have to go find this wish-granting tree before the sleeper's army does. But Aru should be careful what she wishes for. So many of the things that appear in the Arusha and the End of Time series are honestly inspired by my grandmother and the stories that she would tell me. So Mahabharata is one of yeah, the ancient you know. Sanskrit epics. That's where the Pandava demigod brothers come from. They have so many stories within stories that I just found so fascinating. Yeah. Isn't there some superstition you're not supposed to keep? Yeah, there's a superstition that uh, when you read the Mahabharata, you're not supposed to read the whole Mahabharata. You have to leave the one chapter out or one page. Some people say we'll make you crazy if you read the whole thing. You didn't tell me that before I downloaded mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, I, what? I didn't know. <laughs> when I was writing Aru, do you remember me calling you? You told me when you start working. You said, Ba, you was telling me the story, so I got the idea that I can write my own story. And I was always bothering you. Tell me another story. All Very annoying. When you go like that, story, story, story. I want yes, it. how it no. was. <laughs> Even now she asked me about it. She picked the stories because they're so integral to our culture and to our heritage. Okay, so tell, tell the Kichiri story, which is my favorite story. Okay. Okay. When you started eating the kichri, I made kichri for you and you put your hand in the middle of the pile, you know? It's a mistake. So, kichri is a dish like a rice and a lentil mixed together. She burned herself hand. <laughs> and so I said, I told her about the story about the king. And the story goes like this. Once upon a time, this king is out hunting and he chances upon a hut and he's so hungry that he asks the woman for food. So she makes him a bowl of kichiri and he does the exact same thing as me, and he reaches his hand in it, and he gets burned. Yeah, and you see, so you're just like You're just like king. the king. Shame. Yeah. You're supposed to conquer a territory yeah. like a bowl of kichiri. Go from the outside, then work your way in. And the king is like, this is some very good advice and very good food. Yeah. <laughs> and then he rewards her, he eats his food, and he conquers the kingdom. <laughs> and I conquered yeah. my plate of food. Yeah, tastes best. <laughs> I'm Roshni Chakshi, I'm the author of Arusha and the End of Time series, and this is the next book in the series, Arusha and the Tree of Wishes. So what do you think, Beth? I recommend it. There you go. All right, Oh my gosh, yay! Woo! Thank you. Yeah, good, oh, thank you guys so much.